Let's look at how we are now eroticising violence against women. We say we're against violence against women at the same time, glamorising it, eroticising it, normalising it in the culture. Cultural norms are taught through pornography when boys learn early to enjoy, take pleasure in, laugh at and get off on torture and humiliation videos when they are fed a diet of rape porn and racist sexual abuse. Is the avalanche of violence against women any real surprise? And I'm sure you all know that the murderer of Eurydice Dixon in Melbourne uh, was a long time user of hardcore rape porn. Uh, he was looking at porn, consuming porn before he killed her and straight after. In the same week that Triple J says porn will enhance your relationships and is good, good for you. This is the first generation to grow up seeing rape and sexual violence before even having their first kiss, before even having had sex. I really like this tweet that Benjamin Nolot sent out, pornography inhibits men from integrating empathy with their sexuality, resulting in the socialisation of a generation of sexual sociopaths. A report in the archives of sexual behaviour says we are embedding new codes of conduct into young men, new codes of sexual behaviour. Young men who immerse themselves in porn develop disturbing expectations about sex and what they should demand from sex partners. A UK report written by the UK Labor MP, Sarah Champion, she interviewed young people in her district and one young man asked, if I have a girlfriend, do I need to strangle her when I have sex with her? They think this is normal. A young woman, uh, Tessa, says, I've noticed that they tend to go for choking without prior discussion. Anna says she was choked so many times that at first she figured it was normal. Quote, a lot of people don't realise you have to ask. And this is what our young men now think is normal, that women will want to be choked. And if they don't, well, really, they do, you know, because no actually means yes now.